Hello, Star Wars Galaxy of Hero players, and Atish Ordo, and today I'm going to be covering the Phoenix faction of what they could get as a light touch-up or rework just to get them better for Grand Arena, Territory Wars, and Territory Battles, and any other very any other future content of the game, just to make them a little more dur durable, viable, etc. Um, and I'm hoping to get some of these updates here. Uh, hopefully, we get some of these characters. These these characters updated in 2020, near end of 2020, more 2021. Again, hopefully they get their work in their spaghetti code or whatever it is for to work on content and reworks, just so they they can actually get these done faster. But I'm gonna be talking about again the Phoenix, so we'll go ahead and get into it. I feel like this one, this character here, Sabine, is gonna get the most, could theoretically get the most rework or unique set um rework faction and probably the most of the reworks and that's because one she is actually three other faction options because one i don't see sabine ren getting any sort of other variation in the game i just don't even though she could um, if she if we do we might based on this new star wars rebels um sequel replacement but aside from that i don't see her getting any variation from the original rebels tv show um, but she can add, first off, she isn't a Mandalorian. She is a Mandalorian. So whenever they add the Mandalorian faction, she will be definitely getting that tag. So she'll be able to at least synergize with the Mandalorians. Um, and she, and she could also be around this with, before she joined the Phoenix crew, she was also a bounty hunter. So that means she could add the bounty hunter tag and the scoundrel tag because those two come hand in hand to her kit just to give her more viability because a lot of the times if someone runs a phoenix team either she's in that spot or ezra's in that spot she's usually in that in that spot because ezra's pulled to jedi teams and i hope we do get a couple of more phoenix teams just or phoenix characters in the future just so that we can move these characters around if you know phoenix ever gets you know slightly touched up and reworked um but first off, I do want to mention, so like, her top three abilities are fine. Her unique just needs to be a slight adjustment, maybe the 30% increase, maybe 30% crit avoidance. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what else they could do. But she could also have some synergies based on if she has a Mandalorian leader or a bounty hunter leader. Because obviously, if she's a bounty hunt, gets the bounty hunter tag, I feel like not having a leadership would be fine. Because she doesn't ever seem like a leader anyways at the point of Rebels. So she could just have the uh, payout of the bounty hunters and it would give some sort of extra stat boost if, you know, those, you know, that uh, she's ever slotted into a bounty hunter faction. And maybe, maybe just to make her even slightly better, have her have the payout active when Hera is lead. It would be kind of cool to see. Nothing sharing there. Um... But that is Sabine, uh, my thoughts on, you know, her just getting just a little better. Um, of course, she also gets away from Phoenix being, you know, all four ability characters. But honestly, there's another character or two that might get that. I don't know. Kane and Jairus, um, maybe have some solo um, stat boosts just to get make him a little bit better of a tank. That does not get shared with Hera because the only other one that the only character that doesn't have anything shareable on his kit is Chopper. And I feel like all the Phoenix have something unique to bring to the table that they don't share with everyone else. And so, you know, Kanan getting a little maybe a little, little extra speed wouldn't hurt or something. But I also have a problem with his um, total defense uh, ability. Right now it says dispel all debuffs on Phoenix allies. I feel like he should be dispel all debuffs on Rebel and Jedi allies. Then grant Phoenix allies defense up and the rest of Phoenix, you know, Phoenix synergies. But at least be able to cleanse kind of like General Kenobi. I know that gives Jedi a third cleanser, but, you know, a lot of times... Um, uh, I don't know, what's her name? General Kenobi's with Padme. Um, if anyone has a gear 12, which I do... Um, uh, I forget. Uh, Jahani, she's usually slotted with Old Republic, and I go Karth, Mission, Zalbar, Jahani, and Wampa. So honestly, having Kanan have a little bit more cleansing ability, you know, maybe you're not using Phoenix, you could at least slot Kanan and Ezra into a Jedi Revan team because Padme's stealing other characters. You know, there's 
there's crazy team compositions and it gives you a chance to play around with different teams um so having kanan you know do that would be kind of nice um aside from that not too much of change ezra there's not much like he um oh another thing i forgot to mention between ezra and i feel like kanan because i don't see any variations of ezra or kanan coming to the game i feel like they seem like they're kind of scoundrel-esque when the first episodes even though these aren't those variations unless they add the two very younger variations where kanan's not blind and ezra has more hair and he has the blaster pistol uh lightsaber with his little gauntlet uh slingshot unless they add those they could always add the scoundrel tag to both kanan and ezra just to give them more you know use somewhere Aside from that, there's not much with Ezra. Chopper, I definitely have to admit, I wish there are some changes to him, not too much. So, his basic and Metal Menace is fine. His Cantankerous Clanker, I feel like he should get a little bit more buffs while he's taunting. Because one, he's a support, he's not a tank. So he doesn't get the tank mastery or anything like that. So, maybe giving him 30% evasion, crit avoidance, and defense while he's taunting... Would make him just slightly better. It's not too much. Not going to be too broken. And he only taunts for a turn. And sometimes taunts just fall off. Next, his main maintenance protocols. Like I said before, he's the one character that has something in his, his unique that doesn't get shared with the rest of the Phoenix. At which I hope, you know, hopefully they do something where they kind of do that with all the Phoenix. But rewording this so that, like, saying, you know, sharing with Phoenix, you uh, like Hera lead. This is what's shared, and then this one is what isn't. That could be like work, you know, rework this, uh, just to make it more a little more cleaner, I guess you could say. Because I'm sure there could be a little bit more professionalism on this, uh, reading. But what he does though is at the start of his turn, Chopper recovers 15% of his max health. That part is shared. In addition, whenever he's damaged, he gets protection up 15%. That could go up to 20% if he doesn't have protection up. So that's what's shared. However, I would not mind seeing that shared with droid allies as well. Non, you know, droid allies, just droid allies. It'd be kind of cool to actually have him have that synergy with droid allies. Just to have that healing and, uh, uh, cause it says maintenance protocols. It would make sense to have that synergy with that droid allies getting, you know, 15%, maybe, maybe doubled, maybe doubled for droid allies. You know, I don't know. Something, something to give that part of the unique a little better synergy with droids as well and then additionally chopper has 30 percent chance to assist whenever another phoenix or droid ally uses an ability during their turns and this uh, again isn't shared by with phoenix however i would not mind seeing that 30 percent go up to 40 percent he, he he deserves to have that a little bit more of assist i don't know uh, aside from that chopper i again that is what i would like to see oh man that scared me his little weird chopper talk <laughs> um i would not mind to see him just a little bit better just to make him just more viable even in a random droid team you want to throw on defense just to try out and if chopper can help heal and give protection up to your droid allies it'd be kind of nice um next is zeb zeb Aurelius. And I think I actually talked about Chopper in the droid video. I don't know, it's been a while since I've actually <laughs> put that up. But um, Bash, his kit is fine. Other than I would not mind seeing an ability where he swaps to his blaster variant. It's just the staff. It seems so bleh. Like maybe he has a new, uh, a, a fourth special ability that swaps him to the blaster and it makes him actually, it could make him taunt. It could, it could be another taunter. Um, but just something to give his, you know, you know, have that unique feel that he has a different form in him. And it makes me wonder if when they do have the um, mastery uh, gear 13 relic abilities added, that that might be one thing they eventually do. They'd have to redo some animations unless they've already had the animations done but they never implemented them and they just used him as the uh staff wielder but i still feel like he deserves to have that ability to use this um uh use his uh blaster staff and be able to turn it into a, a blaster rifle it'd be kind of cool to see 
But aside from that, nothing too much on his kit I don't see needing reworked. Hera, on the other hand, I feel like one, her leadership just says they share uniques. That's great, but I feel like there could be something more. Maybe either give her a unique so she can share with, or since she's the lead and they want to keep her maybe four abilities, give her, you know, some extra, give the Phoenix extra stats. Like maybe give it to all rebel allies. So if you want to slot some, some random rebel in, like say C3PO or R2, but you're also just the Phoenix allies are sharing the uniques, they could do that, you know? Maybe 30 speed, 30 tenacity, 30 crit avoidance, 30 accuracy. Some some sort of stats. Nothing too broken. Nothing that the Phoenix don't already have. Maybe 30 health, you know, 15% health still won't hurt. For But for Rebel allies and then Phoenix allies get the uniqueness of sharing their uniques. How that worked out. Um, aside from that, that's all I have. I... I don't have much more to say on Hera, except I wouldn't mind seeing, like, you know, maybe she has a 50% ch or she has a chance to expose, and then if it's the healthiest enemy, expose again. I don't know. It could be done, but her, her kit's still pretty solid. It just needs, you know, just that touch-up with her leadership or adding a unique to do the same thing. Um, Next, oh, sorry, that was the wrong button. Last but not least, what character deserves to be in the phoenix because if they say that um jango fett got the separatist fett ta faction tag just because he was you know he worked for count dooku at the time just for a temporary at the rest of his life even though he doesn't deserve the separatist tag it was cool and unique and i still wouldn't mind seeing you know boba fett and them getting empire and whatnot but if, if that's the case, then Fulker Masoga deserves to have the Phoenix tag. I know back in the day they were saying something about, you know, her unique kit would not work very well with Phoenix. But honestly, I think that's BS, in my opinion. Because, you know, if Phoenix... I don't know if they would have the damage over time shared with Phoenix, but the crit avoidance C, uh, maybe the dispel, the cleansing wouldn't hurt. Because if you really Zeta all of the Phoenix team... You can mishmash the Phoenix team to get the most buffs with their abilities to where Meditate's going to go crazy when stealing all the buffs, the defense up, the crit, chance to crit damage. Like Chopper's basic has a chance of giving some sort of de or buff to an ally, a random ally with a random three or four, random choice of three or four buffs. You know, there you go. You're getting some more buffs that way. So... Her working in there would not hurt one bit. I don't see a problem with her being in there. Like, slotting her in there and then say Sabine goes with Bounty Hunters or Mandalorians, where Ezra goes with Jedi, you know, you got Fulker Masoka. Boom, right there. Solve that problem. You know? She can actually go in. She also, count if, with Kanan, she would be able to counter, give Grant protection up to the Allies. And maybe, of course, I still wouldn't mind seeing, like, Whirlwind get a little bit boosted. Like, the buffs do, n do not, um, the buff, buff effects do not end until the end of her turn after the attack has happened. She still consumes them, but she still has the access to those buffs, like crit damage, crit chance, you know, advantage, or, uh, you know, offense. She still has those affected into it, and maybe she gets, like, 2 to 5% um extra offense per buff that she has that she consumes or something uh just to give her unique more or her attack more oomph to it just to make Fulker Masoka allow to help the Phoenix allies you know be a little more of a fighting have a fighting chance in Grand Arena and Territory Wars but, you know, that's what kind of my thoughts with the Phoenix team. I hope they eventually do something like this in the future. Let me know what you guys think. Do you agree? Do you disagree with what I talked about with these characters? I know not much on some of them. But, hey, this is, a you know, something to play around with. Uh, let, again, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And you guys have a phenomenal day.